Amazing. So this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know what he says? And I need to spend a long time on this. Verse number 16 of Surah Al-Furqan. لَهُمْ فِيهَا مَا يَشَاءُونَ خَالِدِينَ كَانَ عَلَىٰ رَبِّكَ وَعْدًا مَسْؤُولًا Those who have entered paradise, for them in it shall be whatever they desire. And Allah says in the next verse, this is a promise that you can hold against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can hold him. Imagine Allah himself is telling you, you can ask me, oh Allah, you promised me that I would get whatever I wish. Allah says, wa'dan mas'ulan. It is a promise that is questionable, meaning question, you can question the person. In this case, the deity, Allah himself is promising. If I say, ana mas'ul, that means I'm responsible. So Allah is responsible to give you anything you wish. Now pause there for a moment. This should solve our problem. What problem? Many people ask, what am I going to get in heaven? You know, the people, the men get the hur. What do the women get? Relax. Whatever you want, you're going to get it. Trust me. Anything you want. Now we start saying, okay, that means my cat is going to be with me. That means the dog is going to be with me because I want that. That means uh, not this guy here, but the guy down the road, I want to be with him in paradise. And that means that, you know, I need to have this car. What's the latest vehicle? Can someone say one of the latest cars that they are today? Can anyone make mention of one? Okay, Lexus 2018. Okay, that's a clever one. Say S-Class, BM, whatever, 2018 model. My brothers, that is such a cheap dua. So cheap. Can I explain why? Bring in the Bugattis and the Lamborghinis and the Ferraris. Trust me, in one or two years, they'll be outdated. Outdated. Imagine the people who died in 1930. Oh Allah, I'd love to have this Mercedes that has come out. The latest model. Ya Allah, I'm going to work hard when I get to Jannah. I need it. Relax. Those 1931 Mercedes, no one wants to see them today. Besides those who deal in vintages, if the... If the car is of a good condition no one wants it so it's a wrong dua the dua is actually way beyond that if Allah says I'll make you happy it means with whatever is there completely in front of you way beyond what your imagination can think of this is why the hadith describes this you see people get upset I've heard women say you know men are promised so much we're not even promised much I'm not even bothered I'm not interested and now I don't want to read my salah anymore I've actually heard statements of that nature may Allah safeguard us it's a pity because they don't realize this verse and I've just mentioned it verse number 16 go and read it of Surah Al-Furqan Allah says he promises whatever you wish for that's what you will have in Jannah al firdaus so what you got to do is only one thing make sure you get there that's it there's nothing else you need to worry about. Once you are there, trust me, everything will fall in place. You may never think of your cat because there might be something else way beyond those kittens. Subhanallah. You may never think of the cars that were in the world because subhanallah, there is something way beyond in terms of mode of transport. If any, I don't know. We, we can only say what Muhammad sallallahu said. Fiha ma la aynun ra'at. In paradise is that which no ear has ever heard about. No eye has ever seen. Way beyond whatever your eyes have seen. What have you seen? The most beautiful of men or women, depending on whether you're a male or female. Jannah is way beyond. Imagine a dude pitches up and that's your husband. You'll say, oh Allah. <laughs> oh Allah. And he is... The dawn, subhanallah. And you're just looking. <laughs> subhanallah, rabbil alameen. This is why we say the idea is to get there. Forget about shaitan's plot is to make us fight about what we're going to get in a place that we actually have not even reserved a seat in. That's the thing. You're planning your holiday to Hawaii, but you don't even have an airline ticket. Imagine. First work hard to get the ticket. Then we'll talk about what we're going to do when we get there, inshallah. So the same applies. Work hard to get your booking. 
When you get into Jannatul Firdaus, you will see everything. Whatever you wish for shall be in paradise. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you, you can actually ask for this. And I am telling you, you can ask for it. Kana ala rabbika wa'dan mas'ula. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with Jannatul Firdaus. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for us to work towards there. And trust me, we will be the happiest. The last part of that hadith says, Wala khatara ala qalbi bashar. What is in paradise has never even crossed the heart or the mind of a human being. So it's way beyond whatever has crossed your mind. Recently, I came across, you know, these little drones that they use to take photographs. Then they used to strap or they strap the medication on it and they send it to your house within a five kilometer radius, sometimes further. Now they have these drones that can carry 200 kilos. So you stand on it and it takes you up. Where do you go? I fly in the air to where I want to go. And I've got a little joystick in my hand and this is a reality. It's being used now on earth, in this world. And at the same time, they are trying to commercialize it to make it available for the public as a mode of transport. So the next time you come to this masjid, perhaps for taraweeh, a few of us might be having our little, uh, whatever they call, I don't even know what they call these, the hoverflies or something of that nature. And you would have a few of them parked there outside. And I hope those are the imams of the masjid that will come with those. <laughs> MashaAllah, tabarakallah. I think we've got the message. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness.